Hello guys, welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to go um, and configure a router to use secure copy protocol and this, this secure copy protocol is a network based on BSD RCP protocol which supports file transfers between hosts on a network and the reason why people like using SCP it is because it is secure and also because it uses secure shell and that's why it is secure. It is more secure than FTP um, for data transfer and uses the same mechanisms for authentication, thereby ensuring the authenticity, authenticity and confidentiality of the data in transit. So SCP is one of the topics in the CCNA security um, exam, which we have to, which I have covered already. So I just wanna go back and revisit it so we can configure another lab, which is right here under section 2.1 secure management and 2.1 E use XCP for fire transfer. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using IT Pro TV lab. So if you don't have IT Pro TV, you can sign up um, for IT Pro TV and they give you a seven day trial. So you can just try it for free for seven day and also if you sign up using my promo code, which is CCNDTT, which is, um, what is my code? It's CCNADT. So if you use um, CCNADT um, promo code, you get 30% off um, IT Pro TV. And make sure that when you sign up, you sign up for the premium version. And the premium gives you a practice test and also virtual labs. Um, and after you sign up and you get your 30% off on your seven day trial, you go to the CCNA security um, class and then after you come here, you're going to click on show virtual labs and you can see there's a bunch of labs over here. And what you want to do is you want to go into implement security on Cisco routers using the CLI. That's the lab that I'm going to be using. And this is the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to turn on the NYH1, NY Core 1 and NY access one and also the PLAB CSC001. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we are going to try to ping 16.10. As you can see, we are able to ping this PLAB right here, which is this computer. And from this computer, we are going to install that SP um, protocol so we can download some files from the NYH1. So the one that we're going to get from the NYH1 is going to be, let's see if we go to directory, I don't see anything here that we want. What do we want to copy? Let's go ahead to, let's do show flash. Anything that we want to copy from here? Let's see, it's a lot of stuff in here, man. Two more stuff. Um, let's do a control C so we can stop that. And let's just do DR again. Um, and what we want to copy, let's see. Let's go ahead and just copy something that's big enough. So let's go ahead and copy this home dot shtml m home.shtml so before we do that we need to go ahead and configure scp on this um, router and the way you do that is first you need to add an ip domain name the domain name is going to be ccdtt.com you can add whatever you want that's the name of my website if you want to go check it out go ahead and check it out and we're going to configure a crypto key generate and we're going to generate a key, an RSA key, general keys, modulus, and the modulus is going to be 2048 because we're going to use SSH version one. I mean, we're going to use SSH version two and that's why I'm making it this big. And after that is done, we need to tell the router to actually use SSH version two because that's the one that we're going to use because it is secure version one is not secure. After that, we are going to configure username, asker. We're going to give it a privilege level of 15. We're going to enable a secret, which is going to be Cisco123. 
and then also if you're going to use SCP you need to configure a triple a new model and from here you need to configure um, authentication and what we're going to use is login we're going to leave it default but we're going to log in with the local account and the local account means that we're going to log in with this username and password and then we're going to do triple a authorization to the ex to the exec default local there we go after that is done we need to go ahead and enable the ip scp scp server enable that's the way you enable that and now what you want to do after that is you want to go ahead and end it let's go ahead and save it save our configuration <clears throat> okay and after that you want to turn on the debug for the ip scp so whenever we're we connect from the Windows device, we are going to be able to see the traffic, the incoming traffic with the SCP. So now let's go ahead to this um, computer over here. And from this computer, we're going to search for Putty SCP. And we have to go ahead and download that SCP file from this link right here. And we're going to download PSCP um that exe and we're going to save as we're going to just put it into just the c drive right here we're just going to save it there okay good that's done we have downloaded that now what we want to do is run this as an admin and after you run that as an admin you want to go to the c drive so you can find the PSCP and when you find that PSCP what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag it and drop it into this CMD let's just make this bigger so now from here what we need to do is set the command so we can connect to the router and the way that you do that is by doing minus SCP and then the username that you're going to use which is Oscar and then at is 192.168.16.1 which is the IP address of NYH2, I believe. Let's do IP or show IP interface brief. There we go, 192.168.16.1. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do a colon and then whatever the file that you want to copy, let's do a DR from here. And the one that I want to copy is home.shtml. Right, let's go ahead and do that over here. So it is called home, home, that, let me see, that shtml, sh, shtml, let's go ahead and verify that, shtml, yep, that's the one that we're going to copy, shtml, and then after that you're going to do space, and then you want to, Tell it where you want to put it. So I want to put on under the users, administrators, and then we are going to just put it into the desktop, and we are going to call it the same name, home. That shtml. Press enter, and as you can see right here, um, it is telling you that there is a potential security breach. So it does not match. Do you still want to connect? You can say yes. There we go. Now it's asking us the password. The password is Cisco one two three. There you go. So there's an error. Remote side on the scratch to close the network. So let's see if we forgot to do something. We enable everything. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead to the router and let's see what happened. So we started receiving. So we we got the connection and it sent it. Let's see if we if it was saved into our it was not safe here hmm interesting let's see if we are able to save it somewhere else then it says that the network closed the connection let's just put it into not the desktop but let's put it just on right there on the c drive 
Cisco, one, two, three. There we go. So it did not let me save into the admin, um, into the admin desktop, but it did let me save it directly into the C drive. And as you can see, it sent me that home that shtml. As you can see, I put it right here. Also, let's see if we are able to just put it into the users. Let's go ahead and download it again too. Um, put it now into the users, capital U users. And let's see, as you can see, there is no um, file over here. Let's see if we can move it to this side so you can see when it is downloaded. Um, press enter, Cisco123. And you can see it was downloaded and now it is showing over here. So this is it for this video, guys. I just wanted you guys to show you how you can configure um, the SCP protocol. And the way we do it was that we use IT Pro TV Labs. And like I said before, you can get a seven day free trial. If if they're giving, a, if it, if they're giving you seven day for free, you should go ahead and give it a try. And if you want 30% off, you can use my promo code, which is CCNA DT, right? Let's write it right here. Promo code is CCNADT. And you get 30% off of, of IT Pro TV. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.